Why, hello there. How you going? <coughs> Excuse me. It's a wonderful Wednesday morning here in Hobart. Getting a bit chilly. It's, it's beautiful. Love it. Love it. And I just thought that I would take the time to show you and tell you and demonstrate for you the individual colours in my... <coughs> this may not show up properly, but my schminky Tony White Signature Edition set of paints. I'm going to show you them all individually, swatch them out for you, and uh, hopefully you'll get to see how good a value this is. So <clears throat> I will do that, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change cameras and I'll come over and show you over here, because you don't need to look at my ugly head while I do this. Oh, there you go. Look, I've dutifully drawn everything out. Look at that. Look how accurate that is. And I I almost got a ruler out, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> nah, all good. So here is the set. So it's schminky, artist quality, uh, Horodam aquarelle, as you can see, finest artist watercolors so they're not a it's it's not a uh, student grade set it's a proper 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 beautiful artist quality set um happens to have my signature on it i'm chuffed i'm so stoked and uh and i'm very proud and honored to represent schminky and they are an amazing paint i've used them forever even even before i was doing uh doing the signature set for them it's uh it's amazing and I'll show you what comes with it. So, turn it over. Have a look. So we've got some tubes in here. And this is all tube set. So this palette, uh, get rid of that. This palette, it's kind of like a, it's perfect for sort of travel and things like that. Oh, I think it's great. It's got a little uh, ring on the bottom. Show you. A little ring on the bottom so you can hold that as you paint but what I what I use this for is sort of sketching I've got another one that oh, this one I'm keeping pristine so never gonna touch the paints in it or the palette love it uh, so I've got another one of these that I, I use for plain air stuff and I'm just sort of sketching I'm not going out doing um, big paintings or anything like that I use it the palette itself for um, the sketching, but the colors are all the same. So you just put a little dot of color in these little wells and away you go. Um, but color wise, what we have is neutral tint, maroon brown, which is kind of like, you know, how you would normally use a burnt sienna, but that's my version, if you like, of burnt sienna, maroon brown, I just really like it. Um, raw sienna, Indian yellow, transparent orange, one of my all time favorite colors. Bordeaux, which kind of acts like um, a little bit of a alizarin crimson type thing. Um, bright red, which is a scarlet red. Uh, French ultramarine blue. Uh, cobalt blue light. Paris blue, which is a great one. And cobalt turquoise and brilliant blue violet. So some great colors here. Um, and I just want to show you what they look like on the page individually and we'll Mix, mix a few up and have a make a bit of a mess down here as well. So let's have a look. I'm just going to get a brush, swatch them out individually. What do we got? Brilliant blue violet. All right, let's start there. All right. So this is all dry paper. Swatch them out. Very, very neat and tidy as you can see. Brilliant blue violet. Go in there and take let's lift some of that out. It's lovely. Now just watch them as they dry off, they'll change a little bit. Alright, Paris blue. I kind of I really like the versatility of the Paris blue. It um if you use it quite thin, it, it makes a really beautiful bright blue sky, like a blue, really blue, bright, sunny day. Um, but it's got this 
real strength to it as well. So that's just a bit of water. I'm just lifting a bit of the bit of it off the bottom as I swatch it out. Cobalt blue light. I love as well. Beautiful colours. In the comments below, um, let me know what you think. Have you bought one yet? Have you bought these colours? Have you bought this set? If so, what do you think of it? Give me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Beautiful thing about Schminky paints is that they, in particular, more so than any other I've found at least, is they, they stay damp a lot longer. They're, uh, they're a lot, um, a lot tackier for longer, which is a, a great thing in watercolor. So you're constantly getting strong washes and, you know, without having to, um, without having to put new paint out all the time. Ultramarine, let's go with some ultra. French Ultra. Now, with uh, with these paints, I've got a good variety. So you can do so many colours, so many different things with it. Um, but it's got it's just got versatility you know like you've got beautiful bright colors and you can mix down really moody grays and things as well it's just yeah it's great if you're wanting to to grab one <clears throat> go to artscene.com.au <clears throat> doesn't matter where in the world you are they'll send it to you and uh, they should be available at other stockists as well very soon but they definitely are in stock at artscene.com.au <clears throat> excuse me i've got a frog in my throat Right, this is the Bordeaux. And Art Scene have got a sale on at the moment too, so check all that out. Alright, what have we got next? The Scarlet Red. This is the Bright Red, yeah. Good, good. Very strong, very highly pigmented, I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an absolute <clears throat> honor and a pleasure to paint with these things. They're so good. Mm. What do you got next? Indian yellow, we're into the yellows. Cool, let's have a look. Now I haven't laid these colors out when I've drawn them. I haven't drawn the boxes. I haven't laid them out in any particular order. You know, I'm not that fancy, but um, this will show you all of them as <clears throat> individual colors. And then we'll have a play with some mixing. Maroon Brown. Like I was saying, this is sort of my burnt sienna. I mix a lot of darks, a lot of my darks and greys with this maroon brown and ultramarine. And they're just amazing. <clears throat> Raw sienna, hey? Raw sienna. This raw sienna is so good at providing your pieces with just really nice, diffuse, subtle, warm light. Um, it dries off so beautifully and so nice. It's, there's no other really word, word for it. It's just such a nice natural color that beautiful fur Australian, particularly Australian countryside kind of scenes. Um, but yeah, anything you want a nice, 
subtle warmth. Raw sienna is great. I was going to go with yellow ochre in the set originally, but I changed it to the raw sienna just because yellow ochre, it's just, it's too much like a punch in the face. It's too too strong, too forward. So I just wanted to, uh, and it's, it's more opaque too. So the raw sienna is, is transparent, which is beautiful for that kind of thing. So it doesn't take over. It's subtle and just lovely. Uh, I've got a bit of cobalt turquoise here. Let's have a look. Cobalt turquoise, it's a cobalt color, so it's quite strong. Um, really good for highlights and things if you want to use it quite in quite a thick way, or obviously it. Uh, Trans, it's, it goes quite transparent when you use it as a wash. <clears throat> you can see here it's it's uh, dulling down, well, not dulling down, but um, getting more and more transparent as it there's a bit more water hanging around in there. Okay, transparent orange, Whoa, favorite color in the world. Now this is a versatile color. Look at that. So bright. It's bright and it's rusty and it's just delicious. Make brilliant greens with those. Yeah, neutral tint. Neutral tint. It's typically, a, it looks quite black on here, but it's it's not really. Um, it's typically used for neutralizing colors. So if you've got something that's, you've mixed up that it's the right kind of color that you're after, but it's just a bit bright and you want to dull it down, neutral tint, add a bit of neutral tint and away you go. Um, and the other thing I use it for is, is just to, um, to use sort of on its own usually with uh, just to have some nice thick you know if you want some nice thick uh, thick paint on the end of your work and little calligraphy bits and you know it's really good for for that if you just want something there ready to go um, neutral tint is great um, I'm just going to mix up a few colors and I'll show you how I'll use these so ultramarine and Burnt Sienna, or my French Ultramarine and my Marone Brown. Let's put a bit of Ultra there. Ooh, get a bit more. Yeah. Then we'll go in and get some Burnt Sienna. I keep calling it Burnt Sienna. Uh, Marone Brown. And we mix that up. Let that mix on the paper. Looks brilliant. Now, if I'm mixing a dark, or a dark gray, mix it in the palette a bit. You know, you can make it warmer or cooler just by adding more burnt sienna or more maroon, maroon brown or or more blue to make it cooler. So it's nice gray, that's just those two colors. <clears throat> Another one I'll show you is uh, cobalt blue, cobalt blue light. Oh, sorry, it was there. Cobalt blue light, and it's here. Cobalt blue light, and some orange, some of that transparent orange. And you get some really nice looking greens. But also, let's go with some. Paris blue. Let's see if we can get some granulation going. Paris blue. Let's have a bit of that transparent orange. Whoop. And let's get some burnt sienna, maroon brown. 
calling it Pensiana. Yeah. Uh, idiots. All right. And I've got this stuff here. Look at this. <coughs> it's the Schmicky granulation spray. Um, been mucking around with it. It's really cool. So if you've got wet washers like this, look at that. Cool. It's um, it's just a nice little effect you can you can get. Uh, you can get obviously natural granulation. This is the stuff that goes on. But if you want the funky effect, try this stuff. It's really good. Um, little bottles, but you don't use much of it. So it's great. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration of my set. Um, my signature set available at artscene.com.au. Um, get on their website or give them a call. Ask for Adriana or Lorna or Mel. Whoever's there will help you out, absolutely. They're uh, beautiful people. And check them out. And I'll uh, hopefully talk to you guys soon. Subscribe and like the channel and all of that. Love your work. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.